this demo we are looking at the classic Slane Castle and Stadium Arcadium John Frusciante tones with this JFX Imperian. Now believe it or not this has five pedals built into it and it's kind of the size of I would say maybe two and a half normal enclosure sizes wide. And the idea here is that you get some of the core components of John's tone in one box. So you have three fuzzes in the style of a germanium fuzz factory, a germanium fuzz right, and a version nine big muff, plus a micro amp and a CE1 preamp at the end of the chain. This also has two effects loops at the top here. So you can insert a DS2 and a WH10, which are the ingredients that you really need for John's tone into the signal chain. It also has stereo out. So let's check out some tones. Now that intro tone was a great example of how the DS2 really interacts with John's fuzzes. <laughs> He uses that combination quite a lot for Slaying Castle, so we'll do a few more of those in a second. But first, clean tone. So we've got By The Way, which is next up in that, in that set list, right? But if we add the micro amp, gives it a bit more dirt, doesn't it? So without, with, neck pick up on throughout this right then if we add in some wah and I'm using the Ibanez WH10 um, often used uh, just as like a filter really and a good example of that is this because there's no like back and forth with it there's no like no 70s sexiness but it's just like Extra, extra grit there, don't we? Up next up is scar tissue. I do want to show you the solo tone in this, but the clean tone is there as well, right? With the uh, the micro amp style tone. <laughs> Awesome. Then we got this really lush solo part, which basically is Fuzz Factory into DS2 into Microamp into the C1 preamp and out, right? And that sounds like this. Now we could also use the Big Muff in the same way, right? So. But therein lies the issue with using the muff there, because when you go down to these lower notes, you get a really super like nasally thing happening. But if you alter the position of the DS2 for stacking with the uh, with the big muff, then you don't get that. It sounds a lot closer to the kind of Danny California type tone. So we'll come to that in a sec. Now, another really cool use of the wah as a filter going into the micro amp is around the world where you have that. <laughs> right throughout the intro and then it goes into so really cool isn't it just sort of cuts through and then he's using you know 
You start to use a little bit more of the wire as well with it. And one more riff using the microamp into the, uh, the C1 preamp is the intro to the Zephyr song. Again, the Zephyr solo is the same tone, pretty much. Let's have a look at some Stadium Arcadium era stuff where I think John was using more Big Muff stuff than he was the Fuzz Factory at Slain Castle. So first of all, the Big Muff on its own. So a very lovely Big Muff tone. But if you add the Turbo Distortion, before that, so I've moved it to the first effects loop now. If we just have neck pickup and the big muff. <laughs> bit too kind of bassy, isn't it? So you'd need to use your bridge pickup, really. that going on but neck pickup again which is what John is doing and with the DS2 into the muff we have is awesome way closer right the turbo distortion is basically putting all the mids back in that the big muff loses right so you get a really wonderful balanced tone but tons of sustain as well really lovely tone that same tone is really great for the wet sand solo as well go something like this <laughs> If we add the microamp into the mix as well, you get an unbelievable amount of sustain. Really nice for the Strip My Mind solo as well. This is the um, DS2. With the big muff. Already has a load of sustain, right? But then add the micro amp into the mix. is a very tasty tone indeed. Now, if you're not familiar with the Fuzz Factory, that is the fuzz that Matt Bellamy uses, so you've got these sorts of tones. So a really cool fuzz pedal on its own. The Big Muff. You're going to be able to play some Smashing Pumpkins, some Nirvana stuff. Now, we haven't touched the fuzz right yet, so we'll have a quick look at that. That is basically the pedal that will give you the Iron Butterfly in a Gada De Vida tone. Sounds a bit like this. <laughs> So there are 
about other uses beyond Mr. Frusciante. So with the fuzz right into the DS2, I will play you out with some noodlings from that intro. See you soon. Thank you.